Satoshi Nakamoto is the name that the creator of Bitcoin used until he or they disappeared. Bitcoin is a trillion dollar invention that is making governments, banks, and the global economy panic because they are all being slowly displaced. Satoshi has never been found and no one has ever claimed that title. On this video, I will explain why I firmly believe that Satoshi Nakamoto or Hal Finney, the brilliant coder, and Nick Sabo, the lawyer and cryptographer, whose role was being the visionary theorist. To me, they worked together and were the one and only Satoshi Nakamoto. Let's dive in. First, meet Hal Finney, a legendary cryptographer, one of the first developers of PGP encryption, and the man known for his sharp coding skills. Now meet Nick Sabo, a legal scholar, cryptographer, and a creator of BitGold, a direct predecessor to Bitcoin. Two geniuses, both obsessed with digital money, both working in secret circles, and both perfectly positioned to become Satoshi. Let's start with the writing clues, the writing style. Sabo's blog posts and essays sound eerily similar to the Bitcoin white paper. Even phrases and sentence structures match. As for Hal Finney's forum posts, some read almost identically to Satoshi's emails. Clear, concise, and deeply technical. Stylometry analysis, basically linguistic fingerprinting, has shown overlaps with both. So the white paper must have been written by both. Here's a coincidence that is not a minor. Satoshi Nakamoto's initials are SN, while Nick Sabo's initials are NS. And the name Satoshi Nakamoto shares with Nick Sabo these same exact letters. N-I-K-S-A-O. Nick Sao. As for Hal Finney, let's not forget he is the author of the most important and relevant tweet ever issued on January 11 of 2009, considering Bitcoin was born on January 3rd, 2009. On that tweet, Hal Finney wrote running Bitcoin and received the first 10 Bitcoin ever sent through Bitcoin's blockchain. Clearly, Hal Finney was the developer testing Bitcoin in real life out of test mode. Their timing is also suspicious. In 2008, Nick Sabo writes about Bitcold and just months later, Bitcoin appears. In 2009, Hal Finney receives the first ever Bitcoin transaction from Satoshi himself. But think about it. What if Hal was just sending it to himself, testing the system? Both Nick Sabo and Hal Finney were active in the exact window when Bitcoin was born. Now let's break down their skill sets. Sabo was the idea guy, obsessed with scarcity, digital law, and decentralized money. Finney was the builder, an elite coder who could take those ideas and turn them into reality. Put them together, you get Satoshi Nakamoto. Now here's the strange behaviors. There are odd footprints too. Sabo has been caught editing old blog posts to make them look less like Bitcoin precursors. Why hide that? Finney, he lived just blocks away from Dorian Nakamoto, the man wrongly accused of being Satoshi. Coincidence or deliberate misdirection? And remember, nobody ever met Satoshi in person. It could easily have been a cover identity. Motives matter. Finney was a libertarian technologist fighting ALS, maybe leaving Bitcoin as his ultimate legacy. Sabo, for decades, his life's work revolved around digital money and law. Bitcoin was literally the end game. Both had every reason to stay silent because stepping forward as Satoshi could mean government investigations, lawsuits, or absolutely worse. So who was Satoshi Nakamoto? Was it Hal Finney, the coder who sent himself the first Bitcoin or the one who wrote the first tweet? Was it Nick Sabo, the theorist who designed the blueprint? Or was it both of them working together in one of the greatest mysteries of our times? 
One sad fact, Hal Finney actually passed away in 2014 of ALS, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, the disease that weakens your muscles. Hal Finney chose to be cryonically preserved by the Alker Life Extension Foundation in Arizona in hopes that future science might one day revive him. Something tells me that Bitcoin is paying for that. Anyway, what do you think? Was Satoshi one man or two? Or who was it? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the biggest mysteries into tech, finance, and law. Gracias from Argentina.